Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. So it's looking like Canelo is leaning towards the two fight deal to fight Dimitri Bivol this coming May and to fight Triple G this coming September. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to keep you guys updated, Canelo was offered two deals, two contracts pretty much. One is a one fight deal with Jamal Charlo uh, to fight on pay-per-view, um, you know, PBC, working with Al Heyman, uh, with Charlo moving up to 168 pounds. And the other deal is a two fight deal to fight exclusively on the zone to fight Bivol this coming May and to fight Triple G in September. To those who don't know, Bivol is the current WBA light heavyweight champion of the world, undefeated 19 and 0, 11 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. A fight against Bivol is not a bad fight in my opinion. It's a damn good fight. It's a very dangerous fight actually. In my opinion, out of all the three fights that are being considered, a third fight against Triple G, a fight with Bivol and a fight with Charlo, Bivol is the toughest fight in my opinion. If you want to see Canelo lose, this is the fight you should be rooting for. Because Bivol has a very good chance of beating Canelo, stylistically speaking. Bivol's style is going to be tough for Canelo in my opinion. So this is what's being considered for May. Mike Kopinger, um, who writes for ESPN, according to his sources, Canelo and Eddie Hearn are closing in a two-fight deal for Canelo to return on the zone. Like I said, Bivol in May at 175 pounds and Triple G in September. The Triple G situation, there's no guarantee for this fight yet because Triple G, if you guys don't know, he was supposed to fight Leota Morata back in December and they're still trying to find out a date for that fight possibly in the spring. So Triple G still has to beat Morata. And there's no guarantee that he will. You know, you never know. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. I know Triple G is the favorite to win this fight, but what if Morata pulls it off? So what will happen if Morata wins against Triple G? Will we still see a third fight between Canelo and Triple G? You know, we don't know. But, but yeah, so Canelo and Triple G has to win in order for the Triple G fight to happen, I guess. So it's a must-win situation for both fighters if they want to fight each other again for a third time in September of this year. And according to the article that Copinger wrote, uh, the deal will be $85 million. So, um, yeah, that's that's good money, man. That's <laughs> that's good money. So it's like guaranteed a 40-something dollars, $40 million each for each fight, I guess. So for 85, 85 million dollars, pretty good money if you ask me. But with that being said, apparently, according to Keith Idek, who writes for BoxingScene.com, he recently tweeted this out. For anyone in need of clarification, Canelo Bivol and Canelo Golovkin 3 would be pay-per-view fights. You're not getting it for your subscription price. So yes, the company promoter that touted the debt to pay-per-view will do back-to-back pay-per-views to get a return on the investment. It's the only way. So, um, if that's true, yo, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, hopefully this is a false report from Kit Idek. Usually Idek is pretty accurate with his stuff. So chances are the fights with Canelo against Bivol and Triple G will be pay-per-view, which is fucking ridiculous if you ask me. I hate the idea. I hate it. I, I don't I don't I just don't understand. Like what <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. Um Yeah, I I, I mean Canelo is always a pay-per-view star. He is. I didn't complain when he fought Caleb Plant. 
but the zone promoted themselves as the pay-per-view killer so there will be no longer pay-per-views and for them to go back to do pay-per-views it's like dude come on we subscribe to the zone so that there won't be any pay-per-views but here they are greedy fuckers <laughs> making pay-per-view um I, you know, I thought they're making good money around the world. I mean, their their market isn't just here in the U.S. Watch. Oh, my God, dude. Watch it. It will be pay-per-view only in the fucking USA and everywhere else. It's going to be on regular The Zone. I'm calling it right now. We're at only pay-per-view in the U.S. But if you live in the U.K., Canada, um, Asia, like, you know, if you live in another country... Other than the US, it won't be pay per view. It'll be your regular the zone subscription. That's the way I see it going. Donculus. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. But you know, not a bad fight. No nope. the, the triple G fight it's a lot of people still want to see a third fight. I get it. Um but Triple G is not the same fighter as he was a few years ago. The Bivol fight, though, is definitely much, much more competitive now than the Triple G fight, in my opinion. So, I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.